We often hear about the need for reform in our public school system. A recent poll shows that among voters in Virginia, improving K-12 education is their top concern. What does the term educational reform mean to you, and what do you believe the General Assembly can do to improve our public schools? So educational reform, I believe, is very important. Um, education uh, of, of our children uh, allows them to uh, progress and, and become educated and be able to have good, fulfilling careers. And um, if, if we are able to get the government out of uh, a lot of education, I think that we could see real reform. Um, I think that our centralized, um, standardized testing that really has been ramped up uh, in the last 15 years or so, I think that kind of takes away from our education. Um, I think that we have taken a lot of power from the teachers and centralized it into more standardized testing. And I would like to see, uh, personally, um, less standardized testing and more power back to the local level and more power back to the teacher to allow them to be creative, to do what they went to do and to teach children, to provide them a good education. And so I, I see reform as um, trying to get bureaucracy out of it. Um, you know, sp spending more money in it doesn't necessarily fix the problem. Uh, I think that we could cut the money, but also at the same time, uh, provide a better education system for our youth in Virginia. Robin, I think that educational reform is an ongoing process to help public schools meet the needs of a changing world and a changing population. And so I think this starts from the very beginning. This starts with preschool kids and increasing access to that service in our society because a lot of kids, particularly from disadvantaged families, enter kindergarten with pre-academic skills below age peers. So I would like to first and foremost start to increase access to that. And then in elementary school, I believe that we absolutely have to lower the teacher and student ratio. And I'd also want to see increased technology by investing in infrastructure in our schools. And in order to increase school choice within our public school systems, in our high school, I would like to see our high schools establish a career academies and increasing those career opportunities uh, in addition to the governor's school and the career and technical education centers. And I would like to see schools have focus in uh, environmental science, political science, economics, manufacturing and construction. And I'd like to see reciprocity, where a student from Stanton could go to Waynesboro to study, the, to, to participate in those programs, perhaps if that student wants to do arts and letters. Or a student from Stewart's Draft might be able to go to GAP to focus on science and technology. And I'd like to see those types of choices. And I believe that we need to address the teacher shortage that's looming over our state. And we need to increase pathways for teacher certification. Well, I think that reform means a lot of things to a lot of different people. For me, it means a level playing field for all our students so that every student uh, across the spectrum has the same opportunity. Uh, we can't guarantee outcomes for them, but the students in rural Wise County, Lee County should have the same opportunities as those in, in Fairfax and in places where there are more resources. I think in order to make that happen, there have to be a couple of things. First of all, our we still operate from uh, an agricultural calendar uh, and an industrial model, and we're in the digital age, and that's not working so well. Uh, we need a new funding formula. The composite index is not good for rural Virginia. We, we are, it's patently unfair for schools in, uh, in the rural part of the state. So I think we need to address both of those things in the General Assembly, along with uh, school choice. Uh, if we can add more choices for parents and, and families for their children, then I think that playing field gets a lot more level. The Woodrow Wilson Candidate Forum has been brought to you by the Peace and Financial Group because we know the best choices are made when you have reliable, accurate information. At Peace and Financial, we work hard to ensure our clients make well-informed, smart financial decisions. Peace and Financial, with offices in Stanton and Charlottesville, wants to remind you that Tuesday, November 7th is Election Day.